to my Capricorns. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your general reading, Capricorns. Happy Midweek Wednesday. You may be watching this on Tuesday. You may be watching this on Tuesday. But this reading is, you may be watching it on Tuesday, February the 6th, just so we're crystal clear, right? So let's get into it. The, I've already prayed over your cards, and I've already um, asked source questions to give you some answers to some things that's coming up as we're closing out this cycle that ends on the 8th of this month. So we're in this last quarter moon phase, but we're also starting to think ahead, like, okay, what is the new cycle going to bring for you? Like, what does that look like for you as you're closing out this cycle? If you can just keep in mind, um, just purging the, in, in this particular cycle, if you didn't feel nurtured, protected, secure, or appreciated in relationships that's connected to you, even if you haven't talked to people in a long time, and I got to say that specifically for my earth signs, because you all deal with the physical existence of things. Even if you haven't talked to people in a, in a while, if you ask yourself those questions and if it's a hard, it's a firm no, then that's purge. It's automatically purge. Purging is a lot of different ways. It's like for you as an earth sign, you can just bury it. Like you can say, I'm listening to cleansing off all of my chakras. There's no particular channel you need to listen to. You can go right to YouTube and just chakra cleansing music. Start making that so much of a part of your discipline, Capricorn, that you start to say, okay, I'm so clear on where I'm going. I'm not even making room. You're not holding grudges because that would be holding on to something emotionally, you know, and you're not trying to hold on to that water, if that makes sense. Your emotions would be water. You're not trying to hold on to dirty water attached to, you know, holding grudges for things that you've already made a decision. I didn't feel nurtured, protected, secure, or appreciated in certain situations, or they may have made you feel like you didn't feel nurtured, protected, secure in certain situations. So you said, you know what, you're not trying to, you're not trying to hurt other people and you certainly not going to give them you're not going to give them the blowtorch or the sword to hurt you. All right, let's go. All right, Capricorns, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hopefully you all are having a great week. I'm sending everybody good vibrations out there. Remember, Capricorns, if you're interested in uh, participating in the giveaways, you just got to, I mean, for this, this reading, and all of my readings are timeless, but whatever Zodiac sign season we're in, just listen to those videos. And so you can you can still win the giveaways. Let's do it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. First card out of the deck is wisdom. You definitely gained a lot of wisdom. Wow. Okay. Here we have the um wis the wisdom card, five of pentacles, princess uh, uh princess of cups, the seven of swords, the judgment card, and five of wands. Woo, child. Somebody is fighting. Here we have the um wisdom card. You've definitely gained some wisdom. <laughs> You've definitely gained some wisdom, you know, coming out of a situation. Here we have the Five of Pentacles. We also have the Princess of Cups. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Judgment card, right? We also have the Five of Wands, right? So here's what's interesting. So you got all the elements here, right? And this is why you can bury all of this, right? So the Five of Pentacles in your Minor Arcana is about emotional wounding, right? So... This is about energies who want to come into, in this particular card, may have left you out in the cold about some things or thought they were leaving you out in the cold about some things. But because you're at a higher frequency, this is the beauty of you being alone. And I'm not talking about, if you got a spouse, I'm not talking about, you know, messing up anything with your spouse. But this is the a beauty of alone time, whether you're single or paired up with somebody or whatever. The beauty of you taking some time to, to be with self and process your thoughts that's being downloaded into your spirit about you breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses is that when you're in receiving mode and you're a receiver by default, source is also downloading you of the dangers that surround you, you know, of energies who want to step into your vault door, however they're going to step into your vault door through a lawsuit you know, trying to set you up in some way, shape, form, or fashion, or whatever. There are some energies that are fighting. They are fighting, right? They're very much like you were having this internal battle. Like, should I, you know, should I warm up to the idea of um, maybe reaching back out to some people? Should I warm up? Can I, I'm not really sure. Think about snow and fire, right? So should I warm up to the idea? Sources like, uh-uh, because you were dealing with some very cold-hearted energies, and it's something, some energies from your past. See this right here? They would have used somebody who seemed like they were innocent, uh, Capricorn, to try to get into your vault door. And then, boom, they got you hook, line, and sinker. Source is saying to you, because you were in your, you were in a, um, you were at a higher frequency 
um, and you are uh, in purging mode. That's why when we talk about this right here, Pluto, Pluto is one of Scorpio's ruling planets. And Pluto and Scorpio is a water sign, but emotionally they're the smartest sign in the zodiac. So the depth of emotions that they can absorb, we're talking about water, is what they can hold is like sea level of emotions. That's why a lot of people assume that Scorpios are negative, but emotionally they are the smartest sign, right? Remember your symbol is a sea goat. I'm trying to I'm trying to help somebody to see this in like very clear ways of thinking, right? So you're a sea goat. So remember, even though you all are the hardest working sign in the zodiac, source is saying to you, you may have come in contact with an energy that has absorbed so much negativity in them. And, and people will tell you things. They'll let you know things like they're still connected to exes. They'll tell you what organizations they're connected to. They'll tell you all kinds of toxicity that they're still connected to Capricorn. And, and you're there, you're already working hard for yourself to get through your vault door. And they're connected with some other energies from your past. You see this person is behind this person right here. So you're thinking, okay, this energy is innocent. When this right here is the one that's pulling the strings, talking the trash, you know, again, pouring stuff into people's minds about you. And because they can, uh, they can hold so much like ocean level, like, okay, think of it this way. I got to say it in lay terms to help somebody to get this. How, f how far do you think a goat, you know, can really swim? I mean, like you put a goat in them, I know it's a sea goat, but how, I mean, do, you know, source is trying to help somebody to learn that you would have been working extra hard to try to figure out what was going on in your life, your own emotions. And our bodies are made up of a large percentage of water. Like that's your water, your creativity, your sensuality, your sexuality, your, um, your, your joy, your healthy range of emotions. If you all could just really understand this Capricorn, that the way that the enemy gets to you all in particular is through your emotions, through your sensuality, your sexuality, through your creativity, anything that keeps, you know, the devil car, anything that causes a state of confusion, even if it's a slight bit of confusion, right? A slight bit of confusion. When you at a, when you take some time to download some things and you start paying attention to, let me give somebody a scenario of what's coming up, right? So let's say you're dating somebody and they're telling you something about who they're connected to. And they could be just feeling like, okay, they're just sharing, right? They're just sharing, right? And they're telling you about something they are connected to that's triggering for you, right? You may not say, okay, well, remember it's a small world. A lot of people know each other. A lot of people are associated through organizations or whatever, right? And source is saying to you, when you start paying attention, like, okay, that's a trigger. That's a trigger. That's a trigger. That's a trigger. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I need to start writing some stuff down here. Like what? Okay. And don't be so caught up in emotions. Like, okay. Oh, I've been wanting to date somebody for so long. I'm just like skipping over all of these signs, like blaring, like, you know, blowtorch signs in your face. And so now you're at war with each other because, okay, nah, they can't possibly know each other. They, there's no way they talk and no way that they could be friends. No way that they're not gossiping about you. This is about some energies who are absorbing some trash talk about you and people that sit around and absorb people who talk trash and people who absorb trash talk about you. Source had to expose them, right? And now all the people who was talking trash about you and people that are sitting around absorbing the trash, they are fighting each other now. I mean, going at it. I mean, busting each other upside the head with two by fours and all kinds of stuff. That's what's happening right now. So now you can pick up your, your power and your intellect with two types of energies and move on. Because this seven of swords is not so much about what secrets, because you can get caught up in all of that. Okay, what kind of secrets are they telling people about me? And what are they saying behind my back? Who cares? It doesn't really matter because it's not stopping you from going in your vault door. Whatever the prayers of what you've been, what's inside your vault door. Like somebody's vault door could have been new love in their life, right? Here we have the princess of cups, right? So it could be the man or woman. Somebody could say, I want love in my life, right? That's why I specifically gave you an example of, okay, I really want to date somebody. They could be connected to somebody who, because that's what I'm seeing for you. They could be connected to somebody who is still vengeful from your past and you don't even know it. So, but, but in your alone time, 
or they could have been in business with somebody that you know from your past that you don't even know they still they're still vengeful holding on to something from the past it's, they're the one that's holding on to a grudge so source is saying when you in your alone time you had to get away from everything whether you hopped on a plane and got away from everything whether you you know uh whatever you did to kind of get some alone time to get these downloads into your spirit. Like I said before, they are fighting and I'm talking about going to war at it, but guess what? You're protected. You are protected. And so finish strong, close out the cycle. You already, I'm telling you, you're already inside your vault door. You're already inside your vault door because whatever it is, somebody has been praying for. Somebody has definitely been praying for, a love interest to come across their life that just knows exactly what your spirit needs because you already know what you're going to pour into their lives, right? Or the good news could be like, okay, I've opened up my vault to opportunities to make more money, to move, whatever. Everybody's vault is different, but it's a portal, right? And some energies were definitely trying to step into your, um, step into, um, all the hard work that you put into it. I see, I can't even make this stuff up. All the hard work you've been putting, all this hard work into things, and people just want to step into what they believe is a finished product. So it's to say, you're not trying to impress anybody. Those were somebody's demons were. Somebody's demons were fear and doubt of being judged, of, of, of the other people's judgment. That's what your demons were. And they would have, that thing, if, if Source had not blocked something, and it's all because of, hopefully this is making sense to somebody. If you had not gotten away from everything in your own alone time, Capricorn, and really started to process your thoughts. That's why we talk about processing your thoughts so much on my channel. You're going through an, um, a, birth, a rebirth here of abundance and prosperity. And their energy absolutely would have. And it's all because somebody from your past who was still holding on to a grudge for you and you weren't even you like they still holding on to a grudge yes some people some people feel like they gonna they hold on to grudges for life sources saying they are fighting somebody right now because that's their karma coming back to them and so more money is about to come across your path so we have five and five of um five and five obviously is ten of pentacles which is this right here legacy wealth right so you're stepping right into a situation with somebody where you all are building legacy wealth together and sources saying to you, um, when you look back, if you can just stay laser focused on your purpose, when you look back, it's disappointing because it's like, man, I cannot believe that people were trying to set me up and I was even considering warming up to this. I was considering warming up to that because I thought, okay, that's what I could build a legacy with that situation. But I'm telling you, you got it. Okay. Like I said, listen to your intuition. Somebody's intuition is extremely heightened. And so as the moon has moved into your sign, uh, Capricorn, your moon has uh, ruled, moved into your sign, um, uh, and you're ruled by Saturn you are starting to now start paying attention to like really how serious you creating your boundaries are. It's extremely important for you to create boundaries and enforce those boundaries. No matter how much you may have felt like, man, I, I was, I was really hoping such and such would work out in that business relationship or friendship or romantic situation, but okay. Now things are starting to become clear. And remember, you always have the option of saying to source, right? You also have the option of saying to source, um, it's two types of energies, like I said before, that are disappointed as well, but they're disappointed that they weren't able to accomplish their mission of getting inside your vault door and keeping you even, even more state of confusion, bringing that toxicity into your vault door. So that's why they're fighting. So it's two types of situations in particular that are fighting you know, because they did not accomplish their goal or their mission. And so sources said, I got some good news coming across your path, Capricorn. That's all you need to do is stay focused because they're going through a tower moment right now. So your tower moment is you're divinely protected, right? But see, it's lightning bolt insight coming through. It could be coming through a dream or however it's coming through, but you stay, you stay focused. Don't get into this. Well, what is it? I, who exactly is it? Okay. All I'm telling you is people who talk trash about you connected to somebody else 
who sat there and listened to trash talk about you. They didn't even realize they, well, some of them, sometimes people realize they're being used, but source is saying, stay in your light. That's what the tower card is. Stay in your purpose, stay in your purpose, stay in your purpose. Your message could come out through readings. Your message could come out through you just taking a walk outside, getting some fresh air. You are earth sign. You could like gardening or hiking or whatever. That's how the answers are coming through to you. So don't mid dismiss any of that. Keep your journal so you can go back and read your notes after you awaken from a dream or had a daydream about something or the first thought that came across your mind when you first woke up. Source is saying to you, as crazy and strange as some things may seem, you may be picking up on other people's thoughts about you. That's what, you know, like a, a person who is about to give birth to something, their sensitivity is extremely heightened, right? We're not just talking about birth of a baby and mothers like, okay, their senses are heightened. They smell things. Their skin is sensitive to touch. It's you talking about whoever, man, woman, whoever. Source is saying to you, you're extremely sensitive right now. You're not going crazy. You're not paranoid, Capricorn. You, your, your intuition is in high, it's kicked up into high gear. There were some energies that really thought they were going to get inside your vault door, but they can't get inside your vault door because of your obedience, of your obedience, right? So yeah, there's definitely some energies that jump to conclusions. They were actually excited. That's what somebody is not seeing. Like when I talk about your ancestors being around you. This is where your breakthrough is going to come in, right? So we had the three and two of swords. Somebody would not physically have seen something coming unless you were in your purpose. It would have hit you blindsided. You like, I, I did not see that coming. Like, when is this going to stop? When you're dealing with people who are vindictive and they hold on to grudges, they'll tell everybody else, oh, I'm not holding on to a grudge. But source is saying to you, they had to be stopped dead in their tracks, Capricorn, because... Again, and that's why you got so many ancestors around you. Here we also have the Page of Swords. Your anxiety is going to go away because guess what? They won't be able to enjoy in the harvest time that's coming and your financial independence. Yeah, oh, they, they were definitely on the mission. And it's somebody from your past who, like I said, you would have never you would have never known that somehow they're connected. Don't even all I know is all I know is like you never know who knows whom. You were dealing with so you were dealing with a a, a stone cold gold digger. Okay. Just, I mean, let's just call it with for what it is. You were dealing with a stone cold gold digger that would have cut your money straight in half. All the hard work and everything, the seeds that you've been planted, that's what you were dealing with. You were dealing with an energy that jumped to conclusions about you, that you're a person that just missed everything. You don't see things. And I remember telling you all last year specifically that like, um, you know, when you're in spaces, keep taking pictures of things because sometimes, you know, have you ever, you ever noticed like when, when you go back and look at pictures, you're like, oh, I didn't even notice that over and off in the background, right? If you all need to physically see things, when you go back and you study pictures or photo, photographs or whatever, and you go back and you say, I didn't even see that in a picture. I feel like somebody that you love saw something in a picture that you took with some people that told you you can't trust them. Look how this one is over there looking shifty eyed at you. You didn't even see it. Your head was down Capricorn where they looking at each other shifty eyed up to something, right? So, so again, when I tell you that none of this is paranoia, this is you, your, your ancestors all around you, letting you know you were dealing with some serious gold digging energy that was going to try to come through your, your vault door. However, they're going to come through your vault door. It was a complete and total setup. Then boom, they got struck by lightning. They sitting somewhere smoking and fighting each other. And I'm talking about on fire smoking. I'm not talking about like, you know, smoking anything like cigarettes or anything like that. But I'm telling you, source was looking out. I mean, for real, source was really looking out for somebody. So when you got good energy coming across your path, and here's the thing about it. There's so much confusion going on with them. Anything that you may have shared with these types of energies, you don't even have to worry about, oh, I wonder if I shared too much. I wonder if I told them too much. Don't even worry about it. They too busy trying to pick them their face up off the ground right now. So you don't have to worry. Karma is hitting them hard. When I tell you it's hitting them hard, it's hitting them uh, mission aborted. Let's just put it that way. Mission has been stopped dead in its tracks because the mission was after. When I say gold digging, this is not gender specific either. Gold digging energy. 
definitely had a plan to keep you in a state of confusion. And when sometimes, you, you know, when th certain things happen and you're like, oh my God, I never saw that coming. How, what is wrong with me? It can really make you feel like something's like wrong. Like you just don't get it. You can, you can literally with all of this overthinking about something, all you need to know is that source is saying to you, stay in your purpose and the definition of purpose. Because I know a lot of people are still saying, I don't know what my purpose is. What it's not a job title. That's just like a subset of that. It's the reason for why you or something exists on this planet. And the you, the the, the person, place, or thing would be you. The reason for why you are here on this planet, you have a certain a unique God-given gifts and talents that's going to help you better your life and other human beings' lives, right? And so, like I said before, there was some energies was definitely trying to ride on your coattails, but their words and their negativity and their constant complaining and nitpicking and all of this other stuff, trying to make you feel like you're not smart enough. That was a giveaway. They were trying to project their way of thinking onto you and then throw you completely out of confu uh, uh, throw you completely out of alignment. And so I do see money coming across your path. Somebody's been working really hard. Don't look at like, okay, is it a check coming in the mail? If you get five dollars more, that's money coming across your path, right? So when you're grateful for that little bit, source is saying, okay, I see you're a good steward over this little bit that's coming across your path. Now I can trust you with more because you're not sitting around overthinking this. That's cutting into your money. So yeah, so don't overcomplicate it. I try to simplify it as much as possible, but yeah. This judgment against some energies right now that were harshly judging you, but, but see people, you know, I feel like some people don't realize how they were being used, but I feel like some people do. I, I'm a, I'm not giving any of them any, any benefit of the doubt. I mean, as much as I would like to get in the benefit of the doubt at this, in this right here, when you're reading, I'm not giving them the benefit of the doubt because not that they need mine or not, but I don't want you to give them, I don't want you to give them the benefit of the doubt because whether this energy knew what was happening or not, like this energy right here was pulling the strings, whether they knew it or not. Source is saying this one right here, just like you're taking the steps to clear away your energy, you're putting in that work, they can put in the same work. So even if they come across as innocent, oh my God, I had no idea. I didn't know. Okay, well then now it's time for you to know. Everybody is having an awakening. I didn't know that they were using me for such and such. Okay, now you know, you just got yourself cut out right off of my universe. Stay, just keep staying connected to certain people. When good energy come across your path, meaning you Capricorn, they're going to keep missing the boat because they still connected to just low down energy. So here you go. Congratulations. The chariot card. Chariot card is about your source is actually rewarding you for taking the high road. So yes, energies that's okay. That would be like a person standing in court in front of a judge saying, Oh, I had no idea that, um, you know, the, the, um, that when I was playing with a, a, a weapon that it was going to, you know, it was going to discharge and hurt somebody. Like, why were you playing with it? So, so you, every time source kept trying to tell this energy right here to get away from this energy, but see, now they thought, okay, well, okay, well, what you need me to do. And this one right here is so convincing that this one right here will come across as innocent and source is saying, no, no, they together. They, they are together. Here we have the queen of swords. And so um, I see you sitting on your throne, carefully vetting your thoughts. This is, this is not, this is not for somebody to say, why can't I see? So I, I really don't even want you all to beat yourself up over this, right? Just when you're in, your talking to source Capricorn, just ask source to expose things to you in a way that uh, you would understand no other Capricorn on the planet, but you, how do you get messages? Is it through reading cards or hearing like watching card reading? Is it through uh, birds and colors? Is, is it through smells? Is it through how your body feels about things? You know, do you break out when you think about certain people? Do you break out in a sweat, a hive when you think about certain people, places and things? Those are all signs and wonders. Those are all messages, right? But this tower card just really wants you to stay in your light. Source is taking care of a whole lot of things. And like I said, good news coming across your path. So get ready for it, prepare for it. But here's the devil card. The way that the enemy um, is trying to like somebody, you know, once you, here we have the wheel of fortune also. This is attached to Jupiter. 
it's going to feel like good luck and good fortune moving forward and who the energies that's going to come into your life to put a smile on your face. But it's really not good luck. It's you operating in purpose. That's what it is. And if you staying focused on, I got to break generational cycles, chains and curses, whatever they may be. Right. And so you don't have to tell everybody what cycles, chains and curses you're breaking, but you do need to keep some things close to the cuff because some people are definitely paying attention. They're definitely listening to see how much money you have, your, how much money your family has, where you come from and all of that other stuff. So you don't, you don't need to be under their judgment, trying to prove something to whomever, like whatever, you know? So I, I definitely feel like somebody was being used to get into your vault door and they come across as very innocent, but sources like anybody that's operating in their light, they have their own vault door. So they're not trying to get into yours. If anything, they're trying to align yours. They see is like, you know, like a, um, they see it as um, a collaboration, more of like, okay, I know what I have to bring to the table. I see what you have to bring to the table. And so maybe we can work together with that. But these energies were definitely trying to come in, you know, sideways. And, and they are, like I said, you got all this harvest coming your way. This is an energy when you're dealing with gold digging energy. These are the types of people who will know that you have homeowners insurance and, in, and intentionally fall down the stairs just to collect a check. Or these are the type of energies, if you were in a car accident and they were happen to be a passenger, even if they weren't hurt, they will have an attorney to sue you for your, for your, um, did I say life insurance, car auto insurance, they would sue your attorney. I mean, they would sue your insurance company just for a check, even if they're not hurt. And in their mind, they would justify it and say, oh, well, you know what? I mean, you know, the doctor did say I may not feel it for the next couple of days, you know, and, and, I, and I need to get something. I do need some money. Who? And, and I'm telling you, they take it to the next level. I'm telling Capricorn, who? Nay, this is a sign from God that the money I was waiting on is, I mean, just... Sources saying, look, stay in your light so it can, all of that can be exposed. And when you sit down with self and you start journaling stuff and you go back and look at your notes, you're like, that's it. Oh my God. They did tell me they were connected to this. They told me they were connected to that. They were connected to this, this, that, and so on and so forth. Start paying attention. Yep. So here we have the emperor card, the nine of swords, the death card, the emperor's card, the four of cups, the five of swords. And then also the Queen of Cups. Yeah. If anything, I feel like it's more of an annoyance than like you all feeling paranoid. I feel like it's just more of an annoyance. I feel like you're definitely dealing with some people from the, your past that have a, a God complex. It could be possibly an Aries for somebody who is just like really battling their demons, whether it was an Aries in, in uh, love or Aries in business, um, whatever. But something is over. This is a death card. Somebody was definitely trying to set a trap for you, you know, and just trying to figure out. And they definitely would have, this right here, them coming through that door would have caused you a complete nightmare. But guess who stopped it? Okay. Time to shout, clap, and cheer. So, yes. Yeah, so, yes. It would definitely cause you a, so, but something in your spirit had you to stop for a second. Whether you got a phone call from a loved one, um, Capricorn, or whether you saw something in your, you know, hugging a tree or hike or something that something had you to kind of start to stop and look back at the past and start thinking like, okay, why does this keep coming up? Why does this keep coming up in my mind? Right. That's why it's so much thinking here. That's why it's so much thinking here. You are, um, Whatever their mission was to get inside your vault door and create all of this disharmony. See this, all this harmony in the picture. You see balance of divine masculine, divine feminine energy. You see loyalty. The dog symbolizes loyalty, an inner child, all these people's inner children. Big pentacle here. They had to abort their mission because sources that they, right now there's so much infighting and battling going on and conversations and they reviewing their notes and what you said and what you didn't say and all of this other stuff and so sources saying sit yourself right on your throne of compassion for self and the way you're going to do that because of all of this overthinking and, and trying to process these thoughts start writing this out on a on your note section of your cell phone or like in the you don't have to sit around and overthink this See this hand coming through here? They're trying to tell you, you don't have to sit around and overthink it. If anything, be in a posture of gratitude. Be in a posture of gratitude. Yeah, let me see something. Make sure I got everything. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, they were definitely trying to set a trap that that thing backfired. And you, you're going through a, um, you're going through. So anyway, when I say, um, some new love, a new, um, some new joy is coming across your path is just, you know, feeling like you really dodged a burden. You've heard that term, you know, you really dodged a burden because whether the, the energy that was connected to that knew what they were doing or not, guess what? Both of y'all are outside the, the, the um, you're not because you're not looking for either one of their approval, whoever they are. So yeah, so let's go ahead and close this out. So guess what? Source is actually rewarding you for, like I said, judgment is definitely coming down on some people, but source is actually rewarding you for um really being tuned in to your purpose, right? You're working direct, you'll be a cheerful giver to source. So when you think about these earthly things of like things that's just like, you know, you just needed to get some fresh air, you know? So now that things are happening, source is saying, learn how to get some fresh air, go ahead and take out, take a walk, you know, clean off all your chakras. Again, chakra cleansing music on YouTube. You can find anybody's channel. doesn't really matter, but make it a practice of getting some fresh air. Just sit out, open up your window and sit by the window like a house plant or a cat if you can't get out the house. You know what I'm saying? Like, or go sit on your balcony or deck or whatever. Or if you can take a walk or go take a drive if you have a vehicle, you know, just 10, 15 minutes. If you can walk around, you know, get some fresh air because if you stay kind of cooped up in the house and overthinking things and frustrated and now your one thought is overriding another thought. So it's just saying, learn how to take action. That's the whole purpose of all is learn how to journal, you know, and even if you feel like, okay, well, I don't want to have to reread the same thing. Okay. Speak it into a recorder, but here we have divine source. Help me to know that all of my deepest needs will be met. Let me trust that you have a plan and the right actions will come. You are my source for all. Yeah. Cause guess what? They won't be invited to the wedding. They will have access to your legacy. They'll, they'll benefit from it because you operating in your purpose. The whole world benefits from everybody operating in their purpose, but they won't have direct access to your vault door all because you were operating in your purpose. Leave them behind. Just leave them behind. They won't have direct access to whatever your legacy is. Um, or not even, not even to be a friend. They got so they got demoted from even being an acquaintance of yours. They're part of the past. Leave them completely out of your vault door. Completely out of your vault door. So it, it's like the enemy. Right when you get to your vault door, source will allow the enemy, which was your flesh, to and, and it's, in this case, <clears throat> somebody's. Um, somebody's flesh was really about being judged, like letting people like tell them, no, this person has, um, more education than you do their judgment under their judgment. This person has more experience than you do under their judgment. This person has such and such under their judgment. So somebody must've come from, come from a very judgmental family to automatically put yourself under people's judgment. I just want them to like me. I want them to see that I'm worthy. I'm, I want them to see. So that's what source wants you to put an end to that as you're going through rebirth and abundance, I mean, rebirth into abundance and prosperity is knowing that you are the gift Capricorn is that you have just as much intellect and power to add to any table that you sit at that's what source that's the that's, that's how some energies were able to get to you oh they just want to be a part of something they want to belong to such and such and such and such so let me send somebody who sends seems innocent to go in and test them all they had to be was their demons of being because their demons actually your 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 demons of wanting to not be under harsh judgment was the same as theirs. This inner, this one right here that seemed like they're innocent, but actually they're together. Same thing. So you cut source cut all that off. That's why they're having a tower moment. So and, and they'll they'll keep coming around sideways, hoping, you know, sending whomever. That's why you have to constantly um stay in your purpose because they'll continue sending as many energies as possible to see it to test you. Until you figure out all what all of your demons are and learn how to put them under submission. But guess what? It's, it's not going to be that difficult if you know what your purpose is. If you know why you're here on this planet. Unk. 
Yeah. This is about balance, divine masculine and divine feminine energy, right? So yeah, this is where you balance it out. Your divine masculine to your divine feminine. That's why there's so much divine masculine energy in your cards because source is saying, get out of your head and start writing on paper or speaking it into a recorder, something where you're getting it out of you. Even if you go take a walk and start talking to sources under your breath, put a mask on, you know, start talking to source under your breath, but get it out. Source needs you to get it out. Get that air, that, that, that toxic air out of your body. Not talking to this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, because they listening too. And again, it's a small world. Talk to source. Send it out through the air. Get it, release it. They apologize for hurting you. Of course they're apologizing because they're getting struck by lightning right now. That's why they're apologizing. They can be as apologetic as they want to. They need to apologize to self for not being obedient. And they have no choice at this point. So yeah, they they want to they want to apologize they want to be able to apologize to you directly, but that's not gonna happen because you already in your vault door. Forgiveness, that's right, that's what you have to offer. Forgive yourself. So I forgive myself. I am healing from past trauma. I release all guilt. I forgive hurt done by others. I accept that I cannot change the past. Anger does not control my mind. I release all sadness. I'm grateful for every experience. I am stronger because of my challenges. That's right. Yeah, of course they apologize and you forgive yourself. That's out them. They outside of your universe. You're not carrying any part of them inside of your universe. So there it is. There it is. Congratulations to you all for closing out this cycle strong. On to the next cycle, on to the next phase and on to the next cycle. Like I said, to wrap it up, you didn't feel nurtured, protected, secure, or appreciated. Or if they told you they didn't feel those things, guess what? Let me do you a favor and remove myself from your life. 16, I am perceptive. You have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings. A wisdom seeker and your angels ask to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. Number 16, one and six is seven, which reduces to this tower card right here to number seven. Source is saying source was the one that made it make sense through your dreams, downloads, whether it was daydreams, night dreams, a premonition, a deja vu, uh, uh, clairvoyance a feeling, a sense of the knowing of something, but that intuition was extremely heightened. You have the Empress card, both in your personal and your professional life. So everything was coming through. So don't dismiss those messages, but you've already passed the test. You're already on the inside of your vault door. So as you, so because time is relative, you may have already gone through this. You may be going through this or about to go through it, but source is saying to you, find out if you don't know what your purpose is, it's going to make life so much easier when you know what your purpose is. So you don't have to overthink things. You, it, even if you say, well, source, what is all the purpose of all of this pain that I've gone through as a great start? What is the purpose of all the pain? But don't forget to sit down somewhere. Like I said, you don't have to be in an inner battle with yourself because they already battling it out. They busting each other upside the head with two by fours. And at this point, that is none of your business. That's outside of your universe. So that's what I have for you, Capricorns. I will see you all on Freedom Friday. Bye.